Stand-up comedian and actor Bob Saget died on Sunday, January 9th in Orlando, Florida. He was 65 years old. Over the years, Saget has been a beloved fixture on television, appearing as Danny Tanner on Full House, and more recently, on Fuller House. He also narrated another mega-popular sitcom, How I Met Your Mother. The Saget family said in a statement, per CNN, We are devastated to confirm that our beloved Bob passed away today. He was everything to us, and we want you to know how much he loved his fans, performing live, and bringing people from all walks of life together with laughter. Though we ask for privacy at this time, we invite you to join us in remembering the love and laughter that Bob brought to the world. Saget had been in Florida for the first two shows of his I Don't Do Negative stand-up tour. According to TMZ, Saget was pronounced dead in his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton, and a statement from the Orange County Sheriff's Office read, in part, We have no information on cause of death, and detectives have found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. The last thing Saget tweeted before his death was about his show in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, just outside of Jacksonville. He said he loved it there and was addicted to performing again. He also promoted his tour, the next stop of which was two nights in West Palm Beach at the end of the month. Along with his stand-up, Saget also had a podcast, Bob Saget's Here For You, which just released an episode on January 3rd with special guest BJ Novak from The Office. In the show notes, Saget wrote, This particular conversation you are about to listen to is about two friends, how they met, and how much they truly care about each other. I love this guy. Thank God he is so talented, because it makes it so much easier. The two discussed Novak's post-college career and his first writing gig, which was on a sitcom Saget was doing, Raising Dad. On the day the podcast episode dropped, Saget tweeted a clip from the episode of Novak and him discussing the young writer moving to LA. Novak said that Saget called his mom to assure him that he would be okay in LA, and that Saget told her, I'm going to take care of him. That phone call is what allowed Novak to move to California. However, Novak then said that when he got to LA, Saget was going to comedy clubs every night, but he was still a good influence because of his heart. Novak even shared the clip to his own Twitter on January 3rd, posting, I have always and will always love Bob Saget. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I love you so much, BJ. I, I know, I know the love. Just six days later, Saget passed away. The timing of Novak's tweet may seem eerie to fans now, but just goes to show the sweet relationship between these two comedians. Novak even tweeted a broken heart emoji after hearing of the news of Saget's death. Back in 2017, while promoting The Founder on Good Morning America, BJ Novak was surprised with a special Skype appearance by his friend Bob Saget. Novak tweeted prior to his GMA appearance, I will be on GMA tomorrow morning talking about The Founder but only because Bob Saget wouldn't book me on Wake Up San Francisco. If you're not familiar with Full House, Saget's character, Danny Tanner, was the host of the fictional morning show, Wake Up San Francisco. During his interview with Good Morning America, Saget used the opportunity to tell Novak how much he means to him, while also promoting Fuller House. Saget said, BJ, I feel really bad. I would have made the Danny Tanner move to the producers of Wake Up San Francisco to promote the founder and you because you know I love you. But it's now on the new Fuller House. It's called Wake Up USA. I got promoted. I'm going to get you the gig. You're going to come <laughs> on and promote your movie because you're great in it. You know I love you like a small child that became a man. <laughs> Clearly, these two performers had a special connection, and Saget will be dearly missed.